guys, it's Daisy. I'm doing a video doing my prediction for Celtic versus AK Athens. Um, before we get into this video, go check out my Instagram, Calum underscore IC, and no capitals in that. And then go check out my Twitch. I don't really stream anymore. I don't judge. It's really cringy the name. I named it this like six months ago. TSM Calum. I don't even play Fortnite anymore, to be honest with you. But go check that out if you haven't already. And then so yeah. So Celtic versus AK Athens. If you don't know, Matt, we're going to play playing Malmo and Hungary, Hungarian team, like Hungary, looking for them. Malmo played their game at home last night. They actually drawed one all. They took the lead in the sixty second minute on the semi, second minute or second first. Their opponents equalised. So the so final score was one all. Um. So, what do I think the score is going to be? I think it's going to be a tight one. I feel like. Celtic have a few, quite a few players out. I'd like to see. It's a shame that Griffiths are just coming back from injury, which is good news. Probably play odds on Edward up front. Um, oh, and also Celtic have had rumours about Ezra I'd like to see that. But that, I can do that in a different video. And then, uh, yeah. If we do lose, we go to Europe League qualifiers. We have to play one qualifier game. But when if we beat AK Athens, it, I'm going to say my prediction about my scores. Um, it is confirmed if we beat AK Athens, if we knock them out, we are confirmed at least a Europa League group stage game and we have to win the game against Malmo or our other team. But to be fair, I think we got quite lucky with our teams. I think AK Athens is a very strong team, but we could have got Benfica and all these other teams, so we got fairly lucky. So, um, my prediction, Celtic at home, first game, I'm going to say 2-0. 2-0 Celtic, I'll take that. I'll take at least 2-0, I'll take that. 1-0. I'm not too sure about that because I feel like if we won one nil, they probably won two nil away. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not gonna say my away score prediction. I'll maybe do another video on that. But um, I did say in my on Instagram, I think it'll be one one away. I don't know. I wonder because I don't know how they're gonna play. Also, they've got they've uh, got their captain out, which will be a big loss for them. Oh, uh, well, it should be. So hopefully, hopefully, we will win. And yeah, I'm gonna do what my lineup. I think what the lineup will be. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that now. This is gonna be my team lineups now. In goal, I'm gonna be seeing Craig Gord. I mean, I can't say I'm not really going with him. Right back's a tough one. Lustig or Gamboa? I feel like uh, I really like Lustig. I feel like Gamboa put absolute quality, and I reckon since Gamboa might be on a good streak, he's actually gonna play Gamboa in this game. So I'm gonna say he's gonna start Gamboa. Centre back's gonna be really tough. I'm gonna say Simunovic and Ayer. I'm thinking about Hendry, because I don't know if he will play Simunovic. I'm pretty sure he's not suspended anymore. Um, left back Tierney. It's gotta be. Um, wait, is he injured? I don't think he is. You have a quick look him. But no, he's not. He's not injured. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm like pretty sure he isn't. If he's wrong, just sorry. I just I spelled his name wrong there. Um, in the middle, I'm saying like. Behind the midfield, Bowie and Scott Brown. And Chan's out injured. I think you'll put in a Bowie instead of him. I don't really know what's in the formation here. I just kind of wrote down a 4 2 3 1. 4 2 3 1. I have wrote down here, but I really don't know what it's going to go with. In the middle, and to far right, I'm going to say James Forrest in the middle. McGregor and Sinclair. I'd like to see us start Tom Rogic, then in the 60th minute, bring on the McGregor. I feel like that's more effective. But I feel like you might just do that. Because, I mean, I sometimes, actually, it can go the other way around sometimes. Just McGregor Lord coming on, brings in a good goal. He always comes up by occasions. So, James Forrest, then McGregor in the middle, and left, Scott Sinclair. Um, yeah, I mean, Sinclair, hopefully, he'll do well. And up front, Oddson, Edward. Griffiths is just about to return from injury. De Belly is injured, so I'm pretty sure we're going to go with him up front. So, yeah, that, I think we'll go with that team. Um, I'm not sure about the two centre backs, Ayer and Simonovic. Um, just make it clear if any of these people are injured and you're like, man, these guys are some of these people are injured, and you're saying this, but I'm sorry if they are. But I mean, so yeah, my prediction is two 0 goal scorers. I'm gonna say. Oh, it's on Edward and James Forrest. Alton Edward and James Forrest, 2 0 1. That's my prediction. So, let, please. Alright, thank you guys so much for the to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for say Thank you guys for all the support on my channel recently. My channel's been going really good so far. It's been, like, motivating me to continue YouTube. Go, go subscribe to Alan Murray Arts. Um, 
He's the main reason why I'm probably still doing this because um, he got a lot of attention to subscribe to me and told them about me because they're also a lot of my Celtic fans. I mean, it's I'm so happy about it, and it's really just helped me get back up on my because I was kind of like not getting subs, and once you gave me them, I've been making more videos and getting more followers on Instagram. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. Then I'm getting more subs on YouTube. So yeah, please sure to subscribe if you're not already. I think I've got 308 or 309 subscribers at the moment. So yeah, that's great. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. And come on, it's Celtic. Come on, it's Celtic. We'll win. We should do. And sorry, I got copyright in that last video. I said that another one. What am I doing? Bye, guys.